Hello, I'm Mohammed Hashir. I'm here to present our work on quantifying the value of flat reviews in deep learning for test head series. So we're seeing a lot of work going on in this research area of deep learning for test X-rays, and a lot of these works concentrate on a single view, mostly the PA, because that's usually the only view available. But the lateral view contains information that's relevant for diagnosis and could help the model in making a prediction. Recently, there have been chest X-ray datasets released that do contain paired views. So this gives us an opportunity to see how the multi-view models would perform in this setting. The essence of our work is to compare different multi-view approaches against a single view baseline and examine the fine-grained differences between all the models. For example, how the Perl label AUC changes. We have two broad questions that we explore in this work. Does the lateral view actually help in prediction? And if so, for which labels specifically? The second question is, instead of having a paired lateral view and a multi-view model, is it just better to increase the training set with more PA samples and with a single view model? So as for our data set and the models that we use, we use the patches data set. It has images from around 67,000 Spanish patients. Any, an image can have any number of labels from a total of 194. For our analysis, we use a subset of the patients and labels that meet our criteria, and we pre-process the images in the standard way. Our models, in our multi-view models, we test different ways of joining the views. The first is stacked, where it's, the lateral view is concatenated as a second channel of the PA image. Second is Hemis from Hawaii et al. First, each view is in processed by its own independent set of convolutional layers. Then the two views are combined by taking the map-wise mean and variance. These are then propagated further through more convolutional layers. The third is dual net. In this model, each view has its own independent dense net, but the output of the respective uh, pooling layers is then concatenated before uh, giving it as an input to the classification layer. We propose a modification of this model where we add specific classification layers for each views and we optimize all the losses jointly. Uh, for our experiments, uh, we tested, uh, we trained our models and then we tested them in three different paradigms based on what views were available in the test data set. So both means both the views were given as an input for all the patients in the test data set. PA means that only the PA was given and L means that only the lateral view was given. So from this we see that when both views are uh, given, the, the multi-view all is definitely better than a single view model. And, and also that there's not much difference between the models themselves when it comes to the performance. But when they're given only a one view, the differences emerge. Most models are pretty bad when they're given only the lateral view in, as seen in the rightmost column. So we wanted to examine this further. We varied the proportion of patients having a lateral view in the test set. So the left means that all of the patients had only the PA view available and the right means that all of them had a paired lateral image. We see that our model in orange is actually best at utilizing the lateral view as it's steadily increasing. Whereas another observation is that dual net does not seem to utilize the lateral view at all. So we also compared label-wise performance with the model and the single view PA baseline and we found that half of the labels you know, uh, an improvement in their AUC. So as for our second questions, we did an experiment where we added the rest of the patients that had the PA view available but no lateral view to our training set, keeping the test set same as the previous experiments. We see we see that uh, even if we double the data set size, the AUC isn't significantly different from when we use paired views. So to conclude, our main takeaways are that multi-view models are definitely better and that we see an improvement in 32 labels with the multi-view model. And we also see that doubling the data set size won't bring about a huge change in overall AUC relative to a multi-view model. Thank you.